welcome to this video on Schoology Conferences. This video will cover users, controlling participants, and breakout rooms. Let's get started. On the left side you will see users and manage users. The gear option gives you a manage all option. Things such as clear status icons, for instance you'll notice test has an upside down thumb. You can go ahead and clear that. Mute all users. Mute all users except presenter in case a presenter does change. Save usernames, which will actually create a file and downloads and shows you who's in there. Lock viewers, which will actually open a whole new option and give you the ability to lock down webcams, microphones, and so forth. The interesting thing is if you do lock the microphone and hit apply, in real time it will remove the icon from their side so the student does not have the ability to unmute themselves. At the individual level, you can click on a user, start a private chat with them, make them a presenter, promote them to moderator in case you want them to work on the shared notes, unlock, a unlock the user, or remove the user. Keep in mind if you do remove the user, they can get back into the class. As long as it's still in session, they can click on the name of the conference and get right back into it. One option under users you will not find is the unmute option. Due to privacy concerns, you cannot unmute a student. They can only mute themselves. You can mute yourself here as a secondary option you here. Are now muted. Last but not least, the Create Breakout Rooms allows you to allow students to have individualized uh, group breakout sessions. So you go into Breakout Rooms. You can choose the number of rooms you want to have, the duration for which you want it to be, and you can assign. You can do randomly assign. You can allow users to do it, or you can drag and drop them into the room you want them to be in. Keep in mind if you do this, once you hit create, it will prompt them on their side to join. It'll look just like this. So I put myself into a different room. And just like when you enter any conference room, it will go through the microphone listen only options. Have them click microphone, do the echo test, wait for abnormalities, you are currently the only person and you'll notice conference. that it's actually unmuted. Each time you go into a new session, a new breakout room, it will be unmuted. Keep that in mind in case you do jump into multiples because as a presenter you can jump into multiple rooms right here. So the breakout rooms option gives you the ability to join the room, join just the audio, or end all sessions. If you do end all sessions, it does kick everybody back into the main conference room and does go right back into the normal microphone listen only option and back into the echo test. So it might take a minute for them to get back on track. You are Let's... currently the only person in this conference. Once they're done and back in here, you can carry on like normal. This concludes the video on Schoology conferences. Please take a look at the other videos which may be of interest. Thank you for your time.